Hi, my name's TSW and in this video I'm going to show you how to log on to Corecraft. First I'd like to say a big thanks to BJ Plunk from the Corecraft forums as this is basically his guide. At the time of recording this video, Corecraft is not online, however the public test server is. So you can't race to get server first etc, but you can log on, make your UI and of course test bugs and report back. So there are a couple of requirements, you need first of all your WoW disks. Uh, vanilla and TBC. If these discs were produced pre Wrath of the Lich King then you're fine. If they were produced post Wrath of the Lich King then they very well may include Wrath patches despite stating that it's vanilla or TBC. You'll also need a DVD drive. Corecraft has stated that they only endorse the use of legit installations using this method and simply refuse to mention any other way to attain a copy of the game. I'm going to say that there are other ways to get a copy of the game, but I'm not going into details in this video. One of the best reasons that you would want to install with your discs and patching yourself is peace of mind. You know for sure you have a crystal clear installation and in theory you have the best chance to have a game running with minimal lag, maximum compatibility with add-ons and so on. First step, you want to disconnect from the internet, make sure that there aren't any auto updates getting through. Uh, then you want to pop in your first vanilla disk 1, jump into C drive and create a new folder called WOW. You must do this because there is a registry edit later on. So you have that WOW folder made. So then jump back to your computer and then find your WOW, double click it and yes we want to install it. Hit install World of Warcraft, agree to the end user license agreement and uh, find your WOW folder you just created in your C drive scroll down there it is hit ok and it will be conflicting with other installations that I have on my drive but it doesn't matter just hit ok you'll be fine even if you have a retail copy you should still be fine and then when it prompts you to install disk 2 guess what you take out disk 1 you find disk 2 you replace disk 1 in the drive for disk 2 pop it in Press the button and do that for all your discs. I think there are five discs in total. Don't create, don't play, just hit the cross and close it. You're now done with vanilla. Pop out the vanilla disc, disc 5 and pop in TBC disc 1 and repeat this process again for TBC. When that finishes, which it should do in a second, again just click the cross, we are done. Then we want to make sure that we have no kind of updates going on. So I, I have Battle.net installed because I quite like playing Hearthstone. You want to go to the settings, make sure that your World of Warcraft directory is not the same directory for your Corecraft installation because it can conflict. Then go to Task Manager. I use the shortcut Control Shift Escape. And then make sure you close anything associated with Blizzard. You don't want any kind of updates to be running at this point. So now we need to open a notepad file and paste in the text you see in a second, it'll be in the description, and save it as wow.reg. This is going to be a registry edit to make sure that the patches work correctly. This step is important. So then search for reg edit in the start box, get registry editor open. You then want to go to file and then import the wow.reg that you just created from the notepad import, find it in the documents where I saved it and it's been successfully changed. So now you can put the internet cable back in. Once you've done that a really good idea is to go onto wow.exe to just confirm which patch your game is running. Um, it's in case you're patching and you don't know where you've gone or something's gone wrong in the lower left hand corner you'll always see which patch so currently it's 2.0.0, .0, which means that it's just a fresh TBC installation. So now we know TBC is installed fine, we need to install some patches. Now the region of patch must match the region of the client, the client being what you installed off the disks. So I have a UK copy of the game, which means I need UK patches. So these are the UK patches I downloaded. If you're using a US client, I have the US patches linked in the description as well as the UK links 
and if you're using say a French client just look out for the FR patches. I'll link the website where I downloaded mine from and you can find yours there. Download them in order, some of them need extracting and then you want to look for them um, in chronological order. So start with 2.x to 2.3. So that will get you where I am now, 2.3. And then patch again and again all the way up to 2.4.3. So now you're ready to actually connect to Corecraft. So find your realm list in your C drive and your WAV folder. You may need to assign the .wtf files with Notepad or a text editor at least. You want to replace any text here with the uh, this, the realm list for Corecraft. Currently it's uh, a test realm, but once you uh, connect to it, uh, you can put in your credentials, uh, log in, and then you'll know it's correct when you can actually uh, go through this process. So bugs and crashes, that's the name of the server for testing bugs and crashes and you can see a few characters that I've already created. And if you're wondering why I'm not logging onto the real server, again, it's because there's no live server up yet. It's just testing still. But the entire installation process will remain exactly the same, the only difference being what goes into your realmlist.wtf file. That's what connects you to the server, and currently the only Corecraft server is the test server. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, thumbs it up. Um, I could very well make a load more Corecraft videos in the future, so subscribe if you care about that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.